Hello, 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 shalom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the living God. The God of Israel. The almighty God. God to whom nothing shall be impossible. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. And the God of Jacob. He is the great God. The true God. The living God. And the everlasting King. He is El Shaddai. The almighty God. God to whom nothing shall be impossible. He is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God who raised Jesus Christ our Lord from the dead by his glory. My name is Ezekiah, your friend and a man of God. Well, there is a song in the Christian dome that says, Abraham blessing some man. I am blessed in the morning, I am blessed in the evening, because Abraham blesses Samai. It's a popular song in Christendom. There is a man in the word of God whose name is Abraham. If you read through the book of Genesis, okay, you will come across the blessing of Abraham. Abraham was a prophet of God. He was a man of God. And he was a man of faith. But the Bible called him, the Bible calls him a friend of God. God called Abraham my friend. He walked with God to that level. Okay? And he is the founder of the Hebrew nations. Abraham, the prophet of God. The Bible said about Abraham that Abraham lived long. He was a wealthy man and he lived long. There was no single record about when Abraham was sick in the Bible. So he's a man of God. And the Bible, the Bible talks about the blessings of Abraham. But many people talk about the blessings of Abraham. Abraham blesses a man. But they don't actually know the meaning of the blessings of Abraham. By the Spirit of God and by the grace of God. In this video... I'm going to be telling us briefly about the blessings of Abraham, the man of God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.
Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war. His mercies endure forever and ever. Oh, praise his holy name. Now, the Bible talks about the blessings of Abraham. Do you care to know? If you know much about the blessings of Abraham, then you will be able to walk in them. If you don't even know those blessings, how can you walk in them? So, even Christ Jesus was a seed of Abraham. He came through the lineage of Abraham. Apostle Paul, in the word of God, Galatians chapter 3, in the New Testament, Galatians chapter 3, Verses 13 to 14. It is written, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law because he has become a cause for us. Cause is everyone who hangs on the tree. I reframe it again. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law because cause is everyone who hangs on the tree that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, or in Christ Jesus, that we might obtain the promise of the Spirit through faith. That the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. By default, the, the, the nation of Israel are directly connected to Abraham. It came from his blood. But Christ Jesus came to the world to die for the sins of humanity that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, those who are non-Jews, those who are not Israelite, but who have placed their faith in Jesus Christ. So what are the blessings of Abraham? I am glad to tell you, according to the word of God, that the blessings of Abraham are just are in threefold. Please listen carefully. The blessings of Abraham are what? Salvation, health, and wealth. Salvation, health, and wealth. It is exactly opposite to the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that we may obtain the blessings of Abraham. What are the causes curse of the law? Death. Sickness. And poverty. That is what Christ came to reverse so that we may obtain the blessings of Abraham. Once again, the blessings of Abraham are what? Salvation, healing, and prosperity. Well, Jesus Christ came so that we may have these three. It is not a sign of holiness when you are poor. It is, God is not training you with sickness. God is not training you with pain and generational curses. That is the reason why Christ died. You've got to use stubborn faith and pronounce the name of Jesus so that the blessings of Abraham can be yours. The blessings of Abraham, once again, are what? Salvation, healing, and prosperity. We, all these three, we, we must have it. People must smell that in us. That is the essence of the death and the resurrection of Christ. He paid the price with his blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. Receive the blessings of Abraham. May the blessings of Abraham be seen around you and in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the plans of darkness against you, this month, today, it shall not come to pass. Because there is someone that paid the price so that you may be saved, so that you may be healed in your body, and so that you may prosper financially. I pray for you. You will not miss heaven. My God will bless you. In G.
Jesus' name. 